My name is Chris Strinmoen and uh, I'm a 7th through 12th grade math teacher here at Spring Grove and I've taken my 7th and 8th grade math curriculum and, and done a flipped classroom with it and, and basically what I've done is I've taken each topic that we cover uh, in, our, in our curriculum and I've done a short video uh, of what it was that they were to have learned and uh, what it allows me to do is uh, have kids work more at their own pace. Uh, they can watch these videos at home, which is traditionally what we, we have them do, so that they can come to school the next day and we can get right at an assignment, and I can help them with their assignment in the classroom rather than uh, having them listen to me in the classroom and try to do their assignment at home. Um, the video has uh, my voice on it explaining the topic. It has some examples that I work through with them, and uh, basically, again, teaches uh, a concept to them without me actually being there. Um, where it comes in handy is if a student has been gone or absent, uh, basically I can tell them to watch the video and uh, they can get the topic uh, that they missed that day and, and see examples and hear me explain things without me actually being there. Uh, if a student gets done early with a test or early with an assignment, they can move on to the next video or the nef next topic without waiting around for everybody else to catch up. Or if a student is working at a slower pace, you know, and they want to hear that video again, they didn't catch it the first time, obviously this gives them the chance to pause and rewind and uh, you know, learn at their own pace again if it is a slower pace. It frees me up around the classroom as the kids are watching videos. I can walk around and, and help the students that need more help while somebody else is watching a new video and, and moving ahead. Um, so that's been uh, the, the primary uh, purpose of the flip classroom. I'm just going to show you real quick how I record my, my Flip Classroom videos. Uh, I use a recording software that's actually online. The website you go to is screencastomatic.com. Um, and uh, basically, you, you pull that up, and it's, it's free uh, if you're willing to only tape 15 minutes of video. If you want any longer than that, there's like a $9 professional version that you can purchase if you want. But if you pull up this website, you can go right to start recording. Uh, it's not going to actually start recording yet, but what it's going to do is, is give, give you an outline here of what is going to be recorded. So anything on your computer screen that's inside this dotted line that pops up now will be recorded. So you could do PowerPoint presentations, you could demonstrate how to find things on your desktop, uh, on an internet browser, whatever. I'm going to pull up my notebook software. That's what I use uh, most of the time for doing my video lessons. And I have a, an XY axis background because I'm going to do a quick explanation of how to graph a line. And you can see, I, after I hit that start record button, you can see the dotted line going around my screen. I can resize that how I want, how much screen I want shown. And uh, as of right now, it's not recording yet. I'm just getting my screenshot ready to go. Uh, I have some wireless headphones on right now. I don't use the headphones, but I use the microphone part and uh, basically it gives a little bit better audio uh, to my computer so it records um, uh, louder, louder audio. Uh, basically down here in the controls, the red button here, red circle is going to be my record button as soon as I'm ready to go. It will turn into a pause button if I ever want to stop at any point um, and change things up and then I'll be allowed to, to save my recording uh, when I'm done. So uh, I'll get a little start here. Once I hit record, uh, you're going to get a little 3, 2, 1 countdown, and then I can start my lesson. So push the red circle, and now I'm recording. So uh, sometimes I would have something prepared already uh, for the students, or maybe a blank screen. I would start by saying, we're going to graph the equation y equals 3x plus 1 which is in slope-intercept form. And I'm going to start by plotting first my y-intercept, positive 1, on the y-axis. And then my slope, which I find in front of the x value, is a 3. And I like to look at slope as a fraction, so I just put a 1 underneath it. That gives me my rise and run. So from that 1 uh, starting point, I need to go up 3 and over 1. And once I have my two dots in place, since it's a linear function, I know it's going to be a straight line. I just have to connect my dots to create a sketch of my line. Now, as I'm going through and explaining this and, and going through uh, my notes and doing examples, 
that software is recording the whole time the voice and what's being written on the board. They won't actually see me on the screen uh, when I'm doing this video. So if I want to pause now or stop, I'd hit the pause button down below. Um, if I liked what I've got, if that was the end of my video, I will hit done. And it takes me to this menu here and it asks me what I want to do with my recording. And uh, you know, basically what I'll probably do is just publish it to a video file. I like to keep it as a file on my computer. And uh, basically end up saving the video here. And I can name it and, and say where I want to store it on my computer. And then from there I'll put it into my Google Docs and share it with my students. I usually take a Google Doc and make links. And I can show you that what that looks like in Google Docs. Uh, each class has a folder, so the class uh, on their end will go to their class folder. Each uh, unit has its own folder into that class folder. And then if you click on a class folder, there's a doc that has links to all the videos for that particular chapter. So again, I've stored all my videos into Google Docs, and these links are what the students would click on to go open up any type of video that I want them to watch. These videos are typically watched at home um, so that they uh, are in charge of the information when they come to school the next day. In the future, what I plan to do with our, our flipped classroom curriculum is, is hopefully actually write my own online textbook and embed my videos into that textbook. So not only is there a video there to explain everything, but also um, written uh, explanations and diagrams as well. And that text, online textbook then would be available to a student anywhere, anytime, and all assignments, worksheets can be downloaded right off of it. So that is uh, the future plans at Spring Grove High School.